have you ever heard people that have given have, have given themselves to the fruits of the flesh they have been engaged in activities that do not please god they have lived in the world and the enemy has influenced their life a much greater part of their life have you ever heard them talk and then when the power of god meets them they say there is nothing in this life you will get the money you will get the fame you will get everything you are seeking you will work according to how the enemy has presented life and you will neglect god and you hear them say things like there is nothing in this life all you need to do is serve god all you need to do is have a deep relationship with god all you need to do is just give yourself to him but every time i mean i'm deep in thoughts i keep wondering people hear these messages every day people listen to these messages they hear people speak they hear people that are higher than them are older than them who have seen life and have experiences of life they hear them speak and it bothers me and i'm very concerned why you as a person you as a person you still want to take that part what is the missing link what are you not getting right what is the enemy saying this time around what scheme has it has it come with this time around you have to be aware of the devices of the enemy which is satan so that you will not fall in his trap the christian walk is a faith walk if you have not built capacity and you do not have faith you cannot go on with this walk and there is something god has done Anytime you give your life to Christ, your spirit is mingled with the Holy Spirit, is mingled with God's spirit, the spirit of God within you. So there is that power and there is that capacity to overcome anything that comes our way. But you see, the devil has come in deceit because he's the God of the world. He has come in deceit to deceive you with so many devices and so many schemes. When he tries option A and option A does not work, he goes with option B. But you as a person, if you do not have the spirit of discernment, if you do not activate that spirit of God that is mingled within you, you will not be able to discern when it is the devil and when it is God speaking to you. When you give your life to Christ, that is when you are supposed to be praying for the zeal to keep on being connected to God, keep on communicating with God. And even though you do not just literally have to, in your mind, in your heart, because the Bible says, serve me in spirit and in truth. That's why when I speak, I always say, always serve God in NST, in truth. Let it be that you really want to connect with him. Let it be that you really want to communicate with him. Do not just have him religiously because you feel that if you do this, um, everybody's going to clap for you and everybody's going to know that you love God. Let your heart be filled with everything God. Well, who are you thinking of 24 hours of the day? Who occupies your mind apart from the people that you are connected to and you have a relationship with on earth? Who is that person that overcrowds your mind? The Bible says, where your heart is, there your treasure lies. We really have to go back to our manual and pray to God. Lock yourself in the room. Take retreats. Take time to reflect over your life. Reflect over things. Reflect if you are still in God's spiritual calendar. If you are still in alignment with God's purpose and plan for your life. What I'm trying to say is, be very aware of the schemes of the enemy. Do not give in to the devil's devices. He's going to come in different ways to tempt you. 
and he's going to bring so much and so many alternatives so many so many schemes so many explanation to things for you to bow down to the fruits of the flesh bow down to that very very fleshy desire and you have to pray for discernment to know and be able to rebuke the enemy and not fall for those schemes we really have to go back to our manual and ask god for mercy and ask god for mercy